Hey guys, in this video, I wanted to share with you some of my biggest epiphanies, just off the cuff, just ranting about the biggest things that I learned from reading the 10X Rule by Grant Cardone about four years ago. Now, since reading that book, I read it again and again and again and again and again. I think I read it maybe 10 times by now and also soaked up the knowledge from Grant Cardone in various other formats, other books, programs, online programs, uh, just tons of stuff, videos. And um, I wanted to share some of the things that I learned, the, th the things that changed in my life since reading the 10X rule. So obviously the first thing is the whole idea of 10X think and 10X actions. So this, this simple rule, this is basically the 10X rule. It's just 10 times the think and 10 times the action. What it basically means is, let's say that my goal for this year was to make $100,000. So all the, the 10x rule means, all it, all it does basically, is add an extra zero. Add like 10 times what you think you wanted and go for that. And the 10x actions, meaning that you uh, take the thing, you say, okay, what do you have to do to get to those million? Now you multiplied your goal by 10, what do you have to do to get to that million? And then you basically, uh, break it down into actions. So let's say I have to make this many uh, sales calls per day. And now what you do is you multiply your expectation of how much effort it's gonna take by 10. So instead of X, it's gonna take 10X. Now what that probably means is you're gonna have to go and hire people because you're gonna have to scale your thinking. And this is something that I really struggled with this is something that I really, really, really had a problem with because I would think, I would do the 10X think and I would multiply my goals by 10. And then I would say, okay, let's break it down and see what it actually takes. And I would break down the, the actual effort that I would require and I would see that I would end up having to make like 250 uh, calls per day or something. And, and that just, it's not, it's not gonna happen. Like it's just, it's not gonna happen. But um, it always stopped me, and it always stopped me because I thought, how will I do it? Like, how am I gonna make 250 calls a day? And I was always very unwilling to spend money to actually grow. Now that thinking actually changed this year, and that's why I started multiplying my income finally in big, big numbers, because I completely let go of the thinking that I have to do this, just me, by myself. What I started realizing was if you set the correct parameters, if you actually break down how much effort your goal is going to take into the right amount of action, and then multiply that by 10, and you realize it's gonna take 250 phone calls, what you're gonna to wanna to do is get five people to do 50 calls per day. In that way, now you're gonna hit that target, but you multiplied time. So the first thing that I learned, the big, big, big epiphany that I had this year about the 10X rule was that you need to actually scale. And Grant Cardone says it in the book. He says, you know, if you're gonna take 10 times as many sales calls, it might even take, it might take 10 times the people. And if you have 10 times the people, you might need somebody to manage those 10 times more people. So the whole idea of the 10X rule is to think 10 times bigger and grow, it's a growing mentality, it's very aggressive, it's not for everybody, uh, but it is for me. And so when I started actually leveraging people, when I started leveraging my time and using the 10X rule in that way, everything started changing. Suddenly things started happening very, very quickly and growth started to become a very real part of my life. So I, what I want you to do is to start thinking in leverage. How do I actually leverage people to get stuff done? The other big epiphany that I discussed a bit in an earlier video that I made this week is the idea that if you have a certain target, now let's say your target, again, is making a million dollars this month or this year, and you right now you're only at $300,000, and you're basically at half of the year already. So. You're only at a th about a third of the destination, but 
you gotta get all the way up here. So what most people would do is, again, this is something he discusses in the 10x rule, which I link below, by the way, if you wanna buy it. Then what they do is they lower the target. So they say, oh, the target was not realistic. I was aiming too high, or you know, you, the targets are not even that important. And then they lower the target to something more reasonable, like let's say 500,000, that would allow me to still get to the destination without changing my activity level too much. But the correct, the, when you do that, you basically uh, make a very clear statement that goals are not important in your organization and that they don't really matter and that you can lower the target to appease people who are not productive. So what you want to do instead is to make your activity higher. So let's say you're stuck here, but you've only been doing one email per day and 10 sales calls per day. Now you want to do 30 sales calls per day and five emails per day. So you basically want to multiply your activity. Now, just because you multiplied your activity two times by five or by 10, doesn't mean that it's going to grow by five or 10. If you multiply your activity by 10 times, you're probably going to get four times the actual results, but it's still four times. So if you are, see a destination that you set and you made the mistake of setting a destination that is way above what you can actually accomplish, do not lower your target just to appease people or yourself, but actually make the activity bigger until you end up hitting that target. So those are basically the two biggest things that I learned uh, this year from the 10X rule and the year, you know, we're just in the first quarter at this point. The first one is leverage, use people. If you get stuck, if you don't use leverage, you're basically gonna get stuck with the 10X rule because you're not gonna be able to grow because you wanna do everything on your own. It's not gonna work. And the second thing is always hit your targets and always increase activity to hit your targets, never lower the actual target. And as I said in the beginning of the video, I am affiliated with Grant Cardone because I've been following him for so many years and had my life impacted so much. So click the link below, check out his products. I would probably recommend them anyway, uh, but here you can actually support me by supporting yourself and spreading this amazing message. So click the link below, go to his website and check out the 10X rule, the 10X seminar. You have books, you have full online programs and you even have Cardone University on sale right now. It's the single best training program for any person who's managing his own business. Check it out. I love it. I bought it. Best investment I made in the last two years. Check it out and I'll see you soon. I hope to see you soon in the next video.